Hey, what's going on guys? My name is CarQ and I don't know about you, but I'm tired of sucking at using Primal Rage. I noticed a lot of amazing clips of Winston players in the Overwatch League recently having amazing juggle control and I figured it was about time I learned the actual mechanics of it. Hello, my name is Yakpeng. I am the main tank for the Toronto Defiant. Nice to meet you. And with the help of the Defiant translator, Yoon, I was able to get a full lesson from Yakpeng on the techniques he employs, and I'm here to pass this knowledge on to you guys in this video. This is How to Primal Rage Juggle, broken down into three easy steps to follow along. Step 1. An understanding of the different Winston jumps. First thing you need to learn on Winston are three basic jumps. First, you have the low jump. This is a fast line drive jump that is done by having your crosshairs aimed at or below an enemy on level ground of you. You will jump the same distance and trajectory anywhere within this range, even if you're looking at the floor. The second jump is the mid jump, which I would say is slightly above an enemy till about 45 degrees to the sky above you. The third jump is the high jump. This is a slow arcing jump done by aiming your crosshairs above the 45 degree mark from the ground you're on. The easiest and most common way players do this is to just flick their crossers up before jumping. Now once you have the basics down, we can get to the advanced part. Each of the three jumps can be influenced by your directional keys, commonly WASD on the keyboard or your left analog stick on a controller. Now there are two types of directional movements you can add to your jump. I'm going to call them the late input and the early input. The late input is if you input a direction after any of the three basic jumps from a neutral position. So for example, pressing left after on the slow jump will move you a little bit to the left, like so. The early input is if you input a direction before any of the three jumps, so you're already kind of moving beforehand. I'll use the same example earlier, except this time I'm going to be moving left earlier, then jumping, and you can see here that the trajectory angle is much more significant. Now the most important of a directional jump is to use the S key, or down on the analog stick. Doing this on a late input pulls you back just a little bit, whereas doing this on an early input significantly reduces your overall distance. The early input while pressing S or down is commonly referred to as a short jump. You can short jump both the low and mid jumps and are probably the two most common types of jumps you should learn. Winston jumping gets even trickier because you don't even have to commit to one directional key. You can influence your trajectory by pressing all sorts of combinations of directions. For example, look very carefully at this late input mid jump and watch the movements I'm making in the air. Pressing up, pressing down to slow down, then forward again to inch up just a little near the end. Or this example where I press up at first, then slightly left, then back to slow down again. Essentially, the jump options are endless, but go into a custom games with cooldowns off and really get a feel for the three basic jumps, or four jumps if you want to count the short jump, along with the little directional movements you can input to really get a feel for the distance and trajectory. After a while, you sort of just get this feeling for which kind of jump you need to use based on the distance between you and your target. And this is one of the keys to mastering the primal rage juggle when you add in the melee boops after. Yakpung says the two most common jumps when using Primal Rage are the early input short jump when juggling an enemy against the wall or corner, and the late input low jumps to help adjust his movement against a moving enemy. Now let's move on to step two, the mechanics of the primal melees. The slap, smack, punch, boot, melee, or whatever you want to call it, is a relatively straightforward knockback. There are two important mechanics about the hitbox that Yakpung noted. Number one, since Winston often leaps above an enemy, you should always look to aim downwards to ensure you don't miss. It's very easy to leap right over them and miss your smack if you aim too high. It's actually an extremely common mistake that inexperienced Winston players make that is really easy to fix. Mechanic number two is turning your screen or crosshair to match the hand smack melee direction to extend the hitbox and give you a bigger window to connect the hit. It's very similar to the common Rhine tip where you swing your hammer and exaggerate the turns to increase the range. So in Winston's case, if he is smacking with his left hand, slightly turn your screen a little bit to the left, and if he's smacking with his right hand, turn a little bit to the right to match the animation. So when you add the mechanics together, you'll end up looking slightly down and slightly left or right depending on the hand you're punching with, sort of in a diagonal. 
Now on to step three, putting it all together, the combos, techs, and additional tips. So when Winston transforms into Primal Rage, his leap cooldown is immediately reset. Therefore, a very common juggle combo that usually kills a 200 HP target immediately is as follows. Granted, you aren't stunned by Brig or something, or the enemy is sped up with Lucio Aura or Zen Transcendence. So, jump onto an enemy and use your Tesla Cannon on them as soon as you get in range and make sure to combo it with a melee when you land. This already does like 50-90 to 90 damage with the basic attack, plus melee, plus jump pack landing damage. Then, transform to Primal Rage and use your first smack. You're then going to follow up with a low jump in most cases, and like we mentioned earlier, make sure you look downwards, because now you use your second smack in mid-air around halfway through your jump. Then you land from the jump pack in front of them. Then use your third smack. If they're not dead yet at this point or they receive some healing, you rinse and repeat. Another variation of this combo without the initial jump reset on the primal transformation is to 1. Use the first smack, which does 40 damage. 2. Start your second smack first, then use your low jump after, so that it makes contact with the enemy near the end of the animation. This gives you enough time to start the third smack just as you land before they get booped too far from the second smack. In this case, Yakpung booped Ryan off the map. The important thing to understand in this combo, which I believe most players in the community call the triple melee combo, is that the low jump distance is usually the equivalent of two melee boops in most scenarios if you hit them at the correct times. Now when the enemy is knocked into a corner or a wall, here are the general tips to keep them juggled against it. First, you gotta keep smacking. Hold the button down, because as long as each boop connects and you're in front of them, they will consistently be knocked back into the corner and cannot escape. Yakpung suggests to always use your jump pack off cooldown to get the additional landing damage. When controlling them in a corner, he suggests to almost always use the short jump, but the key here is to always take half a step back before using it to ensure you land in front of the enemy. This is the key. If you ever use the wrong jump or land too close into the wall beside your enemy, you risk knocking them out of the corner, as you can see in this clip. Additionally, don't be afraid to adjust your smack angles as well. If we replay the escaping clip again, Yakpung landed too much to one side, and the next smack actually helped them escape. Whereas in the original clip I showed you, you can see how when Yakpung landed a bit too much to the left, he turned his camera to the right and used his left hand and swiped to the left to smack and keep the Zarya stuck in the corner. For some final additional tips and to recap, there are a lot of factors that can affect the standard juggle combos and enemy position like stuns, speed boosts, or boops. The most important thing is to always assess where they're going and choose the correct jump and try to land in front of them. You're probably going to make mistakes and lose juggle control when you practice and that's okay. So here are two tips to remember. One, if you ever overshoot a jump, you can always make a 180 degree turn and try again, and who knows, you may deliver them back into your team for more follow-up damage. And number two, you can pause, like you can chill. You don't have to constantly be smacking and using the jumps whenever the cooldown is available. Sometimes it's good to just wait and assess where the enemy is going, and you'll often find that patience and repositioning slightly will help your jump trajectories. Anyways, that pretty much covers Primal Rage Juggle Control. A huge shout out to Yakpong, Yoon, and the Toronto Defiant for making this all possible. Thank you for watching. I am currently signed to the org, and clicking the end screen now to check out and subscribe to the Defiant channel would be a huge help in supporting us. See you later.